So I think we're gonna do a full upper body, uh, mainly chest, focus on chest. We're gonna do some, throw some raises in there for the shoulders and end with some triceps. And then tomorrow I think I'm gonna hit back with some biceps. Because, I don't know, I couldn't decide today whether I wanna hit shoulders or chest. So I'll focus on chest, but hit a little bit of different shoulders in there. Try to get the most out of this refeed. I try to focus my refeed, I try to time my refeeds out, or cheat meal out, on days that you're training a lagging body part. A lot of people would always do it on leg day, just because it's the highest work workload day. You burn more calories on leg day because you're usually doing heavier work, lifts and things like that. But um, you don't necessarily have to do that, just do it on whatever body part is lagging the most and train that the hardest, especially on that day, all those extra calories are gonna go towards that workout, fueling it more. Um, so that's why for me, I wanna do it on my upper body. I wanna do it on my shoulders mainly, just I trained shoulders not too long ago, so that's why I'm gonna focus more on chest with a little bit of shoulders in there. Just this is the area I wanna keep the fullest, I wanna keep it the biggest for this prep, so I'm, that's why I'm gonna do that today on this repeat day. Waiting for this to kick in. This uh, fruit punch one, I'm not a fan of. The blue raspberry is insane, it's so good. The blue ras, so good. But this one, not a fan. It just tastes too much like, and maybe it's just me, I don't really like fruit punch flavor anything. But, so maybe it's not even this. Like you could try it, you might think it tastes good. But I think it tastes like medicine. But the watermelon one is really good. Yeah, even like the Fruit Punch Aminos, I drink the Aminos every day, but the watermelon one's awesome. The Fruit Punch one, not that great. The Blue Raz is awesome, the Sour Apple is awesome. But... Before every upper body workout, warming up our rotator. Every, every upper body workout. Always do it, it's worth it. It takes like five minutes and it's so worth it. Common misconception a lot of people make though is as you see me doing, I'll do it in a minute over there, on the uh, cable, you see me doing it all the time, this movement with the cable. People try doing that with the dumbbell, but this isn't hitting your rotator in the right, right way because the force is pulling down. I wanna pull directly across instead of down. So if I want this to work with a dumbbell, you have to lay down on the bench like this. Now it's working the right way. Not a lot of people know that, and they make that mistake. So we're gonna go over here and do it properly on the cables. Like I said before, just really light. You're warming up, you're not training it. You're not training this one. See how now the force is coming from here. The work or the, resist the re resistance is from here. It's not pulling down. <laughs> I gotta like I gotta I gotta go quick for this show too. I can't like 50 day prep. I've never done it that fast, and so. Every day I'm trying to work for like one and a half days worth of work, you know? Take a few few sets to just really warm up. As much as you can before you get into your working sets. A lot of people though, they go too much by the book. Mix it up, go by the book and go by your brain. Can't lay everything out. Can't come in here saying, okay, I'm gonna do this exercise. Four sets for 10 reps. And then you finish that, you feel like you could have done more, so do more. Some days you'll come in, you won't do the four sets for 10 reps. reps. Third set, maybe you get it for eight and you know you're not gonna get the next one. You gotta listen to your body. Learn to make that mind to muscle connection. Learn to plan in here accordingly to what your body needs, what it's telling you. So when you're warming up, take as long as you need to warm up until you can feel that your body's ready to start lifting heavy. And then get right into it, start killing it. So I'm gonna do one more. One more warm up, I should be good.
Just gonna have to stick with a little bit lighter weight today. That's what I'm talking about, feel it out. I know I'm not gonna be able to go heavy and I'll probably hurt myself if I do. So I'm gonna stick with 100, see how that feels. Maybe go above it, maybe not. Do a lot more reps today, probably. Try to really pump the, get the pump, get the pump, and get the all the calories from that that meal. Get it into the muscle. How'd that feel? Yeah, it's it's tight, like sore, tight, which is good. It just feels like burnout, like when you do high volume. So I want to take it easy with the heavy weight. I'm gonna go right into incline dumbbell now. Try to do about the same thing with that, and then go into some high rep, uh, maybe on the Smith machine, flies, and then switch over to some shoulders. Bring that bench over here. Come on. Come on. All right. Do high volume here. Lightweight, high reps. Just try to get the blood in there. Chest contractions after sets are great for getting the blood in there, getting the pump. And that last set, the set before that, I was feeling it way too much in my delt. So I made my grip a little closer and it helped, completely helped. We're not focusing on moving weight. We're focusing on contracting the muscle. Doing that, I'm not thinking about pushing weight from up to bottom to up or you know from me. I'm not focused on moving any sort of weight. I'm focusing on the muscle and how much pressure is getting put onto it. You know, you get the 100 pound dumbbells. I'm not thinking about okay, hundreds for one, hundreds for two. I'm thinking about my chest and how far down I'm coming and how much I'm squeezing together. I'm thinking about how much time is under tension, how much I'm isolating 
and letting the muscle contract. That's how you grow. That's how you improve without injury. That's how you do it without injury. and we'll see depending in the morning is I'm probably gonna have to drop down tomorrow <laughs> it's 100 grams of carbs I'm gonna do that for five days and then I'm gonna throw in an extra 100 gram of carbs do a 200 day and then I'm gonna drop down to 50 grams of carbs do that for five days and then throw in like a 150 day and then I'm gonna have zero carbs might go zero before then though that's just what I'm estimating We'll see. Way better now. I'm digested a little bit, bit more. I was way too full coming in here, and I was just, you know, lethargic. Feels so much better now. Halfway through the workout, it just kind of kicked in. Felt way better. Chasing the pump now. Going here real quick, do a posing update. See how I'm looking. No idea really. Haven't done this yet, so we'll see. Then we'll get some cardio. Uh. That's it. So we're standing. How you feel? 
I feel good, honestly. I feel really good. I mean, right now, I feel very bloated. I'll show you guys again tonight what I look like tonight before bed. I look completely different than right now. I mean, I have a pump and everything. My upper body looks really full right now. You know, striations in my chest. My chest is extremely full. My upper body is very full right now to look like this. But tonight, I'll be a little flatter in the arms and the shoulders and the chest. But this here, it doesn't look bad right now, but like this, a midsection is gonna look very tight and dry. You'll see. The only thing I'm missing out on is 50 days of not eating whatever I wanna eat. Right. But besides that, life's better when you're working towards something you really care about. And that's why life's better right now, because I really care about this. And when I'm not show prepping, I feel like I'm not doing anything. Like, I feel like I'm on unemployment and I'm not applying for jobs. But right now, I feel like I got a job again and I'm doing well. And I'm right. racking the bank account up. Like, I, feel, I got the feeling of as if that was it. Right. I'm not making money, but I'm saying if I was yeah. a guy who just got their job. Like you're grinding. Yeah. We out here grinding. Just let me work. What water bottle? Guardian. It was good. I feel, feel good. I wouldn't mind doing more, honestly. But, gym's closed. So, gotta go home. Now, I'm gonna skip my usual post-workout meal, which is beef, six ounces of beef. Because I had the hamburger today with such high fat, I'm gonna skip that, just go right to chicken and potatoes. Also gonna skip my protein shake today. I like white and black. It's just clean. But everything on Mind Over Matter is white and black. Besides the new stuff coming, we got new stuff coming with some color in it. But everything's white and black right now. It's just nice. Bye.